and to misrepresent unofficial boxes as official uh, further misleads voters and erodes the public trust. California's top election official says these unofficial ballot drop boxes are illegal. The state's Republican Party says the boxes belong to them and are being put out statewide. And it just provides a convenient place for individuals to come in and turn in their ballot. In California, a voter can authorize someone else to drop off their ballot. The state also allows ballot harvesting, where an individual collects ballots from voters and turns them in. When it comes to ballot harvesting, political experts say you have to make sure this part of your envelope is filled out correctly in order for your vote to be counted. There's a place for me as the voter to write the name of the person that I'm authorizing to return this. They would sign it, but then we also specify their relationship to me. That's what the Republican Party says it's doing, using the unofficial drop boxes as a way to harvest ballots. But those drop boxes use the word official. It's that putting the official label on it that crosses the line um, in terms of what's acceptable. University of the Pacific political science professor Dr. Keith Smith says only the county registrar's office can designate official ballot drop boxes. There are a whole set of rules about what has to be, you know, what those boxes have to look like and, and where they can be stored and what kinds of access people have to be able to have to them. GOP spokesman Hector Baraja says they're addressing the wording on the boxes but do not intend on removing them, even after the California Attorney General ordered them to. I understand that the Secretary of State has issued a letter of cease and desist, and the message we have to, to the Secretary of State and the Attorney Generals will see you in court. It could undermine voter confidence more broadly. We can't let that happen. USC professor and director of the Center for Inclusive Democracy, Mindy Romero, says it's critical voters trust the election process. She says situations like this one, regardless of intent, can harm voter confidence. And the thinking behind this is incredibly dangerous to the broader uh, public confidence uh, in the election. Emily Maha, KCRA 3 News.